Thanks for joining us for another episode of Five Games, Five Minutes from aconelectron.co.uk. Panic is an extremely difficult to find ladders and levels game, written by Spike Moiran. It's a lot like the Acorn Soft game Monsters, in that you're confronted with a number of monsters, and you must dig holes in the platforms so that they fall through them to their deaths. Different types of monsters need to fall through one, two, or three levels respectively. Now this game is not for the faint of heart. I've never opened it up to see exactly what the intelligence level of the monsters is, but all I'll say is that they do not seem to move completely randomly, as you at first believe. They'll chase you around the whole level, giving you barely enough time to breathe, let alone dig holes. Yet, as soon as you do dig a hole, suddenly they don't come anywhere near you at all. Now you might say, alright, what's wrong with that? Makes the game a lot more challenging. And yes, you'd be right, it is much more challenging than the Acon Soft game monsters. But it also seems to make Panic a little bit too difficult. For that reason, I'd say this game's for hardened arcade addicts only. Vertigo is one of the very last superior Acorn Soft games. You play an octahedron which can be moved at any conceivable angle. You're inside a world of tiles of varying heights and slopes. On each screen, you aim to collect a diamond. Screens get steadily harder as the game progresses. A favourite method employed is to plot tiles at angles, which mean that you really need a big run-up and to fight against gravity to clear them. I've seen few games that fit together quite as well as Vertigo. The angular panels around the playing area perfectly complement the level designs, and the speed of the game is perfect. The octahedron reacts fluidly, it never feels out of control even if some of the later levels require you to learn almost impossible sequences of moves. The game is a nice password feature too. Not only do you get a password for each screen, but the game defaults to using the latest password, so you don't even have to waste time typing it in. With 50 screens in total, Vertigo will keep you gaming a fair while. Play it now. In 1990, Headfirst PD began to produce public domain demos and games for the Electron, all of their library survives. Headfirst's most famous demo was the Invader demo. This is a fairly unchallenging Space Invaders game with a scrolling message at the bottom. If you know your Electron software, you'll probably recognise the aliens. Another demo from Headfirst is Vortex, which presents a spiral, again with a scrolling message and a dizzying amount of colours. Both demos are unique in that they were written to emulate on the Electron the Archimedes and Amiga 500 demos that were beginning to appear. Now you've seen them here, you don't really need to download them. However, something you might like to download is the game Squares, a rather nifty conversion of the game that schoolboys up and down the land use to while away their history lessons. The computer plays a clever game here, even if the coordinate entry system is a little bit tedious. Felix Meets the Evil Weevils is a game of pure pandemonium. You're charged with saving a factory from what, in all honesty, look like mutant turds. The instructions say you need to spray these weevils in the face with pesticide to get rid of them. Uh, what face would that be? Anyway, pesticide, air freshener, you've got your work cut out for you here because every single platform in the factory is a conveyor belt. Oxygen cylinders that replenish your dwindling supply, conveyor belt control levers which allow you to reverse the belts at will, and the all-too-important pesticide appear at regular intervals. The letter spelling bonus also can be collected for the obvious boost in score. The game doesn't look difficult at all, but you do have to get very close to the weevils in order to spray them, and the action is manic. The game is pretty good, and unlike anything else out there for the Electron. Subway Vigilante I'll introduce with mock enthusiasm. You're one man, up against the filth of the London underground subway system. Punks with cricket bats, machine guns, and fists of iron litter your path. Everything graphically lavish and superbly animated. Except that it's not, is it? After the appalling Shanghai Warriors, you might have thought Player Software might have thought Electron owners had suffered enough. Evidently not. Observe. Clearly, Subway Vigilante is the same sodding game as Shanghai Warriors. The players team have just redesigned the logo and the scoring section and released both of them at the same time. Alright, there's some slight differences. Two bad guys now attack at the same time and the game has got more than one scene. 
but still I really pity the poor souls that picked this monstrosity up. Players, how did you even have the nerve to release this?